confronted an angry crowd outside her constituency office in Ottawa today. They were protesting changes to autism funding. An emotional Lisa McLeod told parents the new policy is the right one and she's not backing down. CTV's Joe Anschner covered the rally for us today. Joanne. Patricia, no one expected Lisa McLeod to come out of her office and talk to the crowd. She expected and got an earful, but stood firm in her conviction that this was the only way to help all the kids on the autism spectrum. What do you want? Equity! When do you want it? Now! They came to Lisa McLeod's constituency Equity. office with placards now. in hand. What do you want? Equity! They've handed us a Band-Aid. Now! They have given us a Band-Aid and said, Equity. here's your cure. You this will help you. Now. And it won't. Now! and kids by their side. This funding won't even cover two hours a week. Ready to fight the Ford government's overhaul of the autism program. Changes that prompted this PC political staffer to quit on Wednesday. I wasn't about to hang around and defend the indefensible. Um, it's, it's an absolutely wrong-headed decision. It's, it's going to hurt just about every kid that's in the program. You don't understand. It's not just this announcement. It's every day is emotional. Every day is hard. What about my daughter? Here. That's Will. Where is she going to go? Enter into that emotional fray, the minister, Lisa McLeod. Hey, Guys, we have a you're cutting my son hey. from 40 hours a week to two. He what can't live well, on two. This is a disaster. She made the announcement on the funding changes aimed at clearing the waiting list by taking money, these parents say, from those who need it most. So forget about Will. Will's useless now. Is that what you're telling us? McLeod invited a couple of families and the media inside to talk, defending her government's position in a very emotional exchange. I can't look at myself in the mirror and know that my ministry could be helping kids, but it's not. I would love if I could have the silver bullet for families that are dealing with autism. It doesn't exist. She needs to hear the personal stories and know how this has, has impacted families in such a meaningful way. We're, we're devastated. This is going to cripple our family. So talks began with a couple of the parents and the minister. Autism has no age limit. Dana Williams wondered how it would all end for her two young children. I don't know. I don't know. That scary part is you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen to their future. You don't know. One of the mothers asked Lisa McLeod what she would do if it were her child caught in this mess. She told the woman she'd do exactly the same thing and fight like hell. Patricia. CTV's Joanne Schnur live for us tonight.